Hello YouTube, uh, welcome back to my channel and this is the continuation of uh, Oxygen OS 2.2.0 part 2 of the video in part 1 guys I discussed everything in the change log in detail explaining everything whereas in part 2 I'll be asked, answering your questions I have picked the best possible questions I could and I will answer them uh, to the best of my knowledge okay uh, and a question which often get asked you know, in various OnePlus 2 videos a lot of times is uh, my installation has failed Jay what to do Every time they try to oh, the update, update, the, uh, update uh, the newest version, and they just somehow either fail in the middle of the installation or at the start of the installation. Guys, what I'll do is I will provide you with a link down below. I will give you a couple of links where you can actually see how do you manually flash uh, your Oxygen OS uh, latest version or whichever version you want to flash. So you can manually flash uh, the Oxygen OS version, whichever you want. Uh, I will, like I said, leave you a couple of links down below. Also, I will uh, link uh, the official. Uh, OnePlus forum where they have lined up all uh, the Oxygen OS versions um, in, 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 in detail and all the links are there, zip files and, and in the other link that I will also be putting underneath I've explained you how to actually manually flash uh, any ROM onto the OnePlus 2 so please have a look at those those links guys and hopefully if you're stuck with the, with the latest OT update that will definitely help you out in getting on with your OnePlus 2. Now a question was asked by one of my my subscribers and supporters Abhishek and he asked me if the phone had any LTE issues well Abhishek I can tell you and uh, there have been no LTE issues whatsoever uh, Wi-Fi seems to be working fine LTE seems to be working fine 4G services are normal and no issues uh, whatsoever in my experience so far with the latest update I've had no issues with LTE uh, whatsoever also Mr. Shaitaj uh, uh, asked me that he cannot connect his OnePlus 2 to his PC and uh, he can't work it out. Well, uh, uh, Shaitaj, I can tell you, Shaitaj, Shaitaj, swear your name is me, sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. I can tell you that, uh, yes, you can connect your OnePlus 2 to your PC. If it's the first time you are trying to connect your OnePlus 2 to your PC, uh, all you have to do is you have to connect your phone using the official uh, USB a memory a cable uh, sorry USB cable a given which comes in the box with the one plus two the one end is the convertible USB and the, the other end is type C also reversible so they're both reversible in nature uh, this end goes into the PC and this end will go into your one plus two so using this cable uh, you can definitely um, install um, and e install the drivers I've taken actually some screenshots for you in fact I took a few pictures I was doing it I was testing it uh, just a little while ago and I thought I'll show you how this actually works so let me show you this okay so this is what's going to happen what's going to happen is that once you go into uh, once you connect your phone to your P Windows PC uh, you will have this come up uh, this message it says CD drive one plus drivers so once you tap on this uh, or if you right click on it or you double tap on it you can install or run this program uh, from your media so once you do that uh, then this window will pop up say do you want to, to allow the program from an unknown publisher you just have to click on yes once you click on yes so that's right, then uh, you just follow the steps and once all the drivers installed you will see uh, on the t on the left hand side where device and drives are you will see this uh, the model number of the one plus two one a two zero zero one come up and then also it will come up as a partition so that you can copy and paste stuff which is the basic essence of obviously Android and its open source nature so yes you can if you like I said get that message on the screen or uh, just install the drive the USB drivers first on the one plus two and then you should be able to access the one plus two just as you would on a normal USB stick so hopefully uh, Mr. Um, Shaitaj, uh, this will help you um, uh, with your query. Okay, I got another question by Mr. Sidram, and he said that um, he wasn't able to assign speed dials and speed number dials to his, his, his contacts. Well, I can tell you, sir, one thing, sir, that unfortunately the speed dial option uh, assigning numbers on the OnePlus 2 is definitely not there. You have the speed dial uh, tag here, by the way. Um, so you can actually get into your contacts for instance go into any contacts and if you say um, let me pick anyone uh, randomly uh, say for instance um, let's pick um, any number if I can uh, okay let's pick this number and if I tap on favorite there we go so once once clicking on favorite this should technically come up in your speed dial there you go 
so the comma the number has come up on your speed dial and from here you can tap on the number and you can dial but I could not find any option where I could actually uh, tap on or assign numbers to speed dials I think it's probably the limitation of uh, oxygen OS so I was unable to find anything I even went to settings and had a look here all the way across call settings there was no option which could explain me how to assign um, numbers to speed dial it's a very basic thing to be honest and in an emergency it can be very very handy if you are looking to do a speed dial on someone but unfortunately on Oxygen OS uh, you are unable to do so so I could not find anything on speed dial and assign numbers to them dials as well okay now Mr. Eugene asked me a question he said after the update on the upper left screen uh, the screen doesn't seem to respond to touches in the, in the upper left so what I'll do is I'll open YouTube um, and let's have a look and see if that issue is still there let me just uh, play one of my videos there we go hello YouTube welcome back to my channel okay and as you can see this arrow on the top left uh, screen side of the screen I will use the arrow to minimize the video there we go so that left side is definitely working even if I was to push from the left side and uh, pull the notification um, uh, you know um, panel down there is no issues with the left side of the screen I personally have had no issues on the, the touch response in any side of the screen let alone only on the left hand side so Mr. Eugene no issues after the update whatsoever okay another question was asked by Mr. Ruhit and he said that he had some uh, issues with extended uh, video playback on Wi-Fi and the OnePlus 2 was heating well um, I'm happy to report uh, Mr. Rohit that I have had no issue with um, with, the, with the heating on the OnePlus 2 I've done extended gaming I've done extended video playback I've watched films on this phone but this is one of the most coolest Snapdragon 810 phones I've had this year I've had a couple of them before as well but they're like the Xperia Z5 and a couple others but this, far, this phone so far has been the coolest when it comes to um, heating issues there's no heating issues in this phone I did play watch a whole video on it uh, for nearly an hour and a half and the phone did heat up a slightly bit but not by much so no heating issues on the OnePlus 2 Mr. Rohit as far as my experience is concerned also uh, Billy Boy Productions also asked me a question that sometimes uh, randomly uh, the East Coast time uh, switches back to some other zone he probably is in the States and they are in the States and they are having this issue with uh, time uh, changing well as far as I'm concerned uh, to be honest um, the London Dublin time uh, ever since I've set it up for the first time I never had to change it again even after restart or reboots and everything the time remains the same and I've had no issues they're saying in the east uh, uh, coast time they're having issues and at times the zone the time zone goes back well uh, I can tell you uh, Billy Boy uh, Productions uh, no issues on that front as far as I am concerned also, uh, Mr. B. Pratap Singh asked me about this uh, very good question, in fact. He said, is the continuous autofocus during video still an issue on the OnePlus 2? Well, from what I can see, I've tested the video on the phone. Um, it has considerably been improved by OnePlus, but it hasn't still completely gone away. So what I'll do is I will record a video. I think I might have recorded a video already, so I will actually show you if I can. If not, I'll tell you what, I'll do a new video right now, and I will show you if the continuous autofocus issue is still there. So there's a cup here, there's a OnePlus 2 box on the left-hand side, and also a Nexus on the right-hand side. So let's record this video and see how and the continuous autofocus issue affects the OnePlus 2. There you go. Like I said, it has improved considerably. There's a bit of, as you can see, there's a bit of, uh, you know, at times the camera struggles uh, just a little bit, not by much. If you watch very carefully, the contrast changes and all of a sudden the camera tries to refocus very, very quickly. But it was really bad before, guys. But now it has uh, definitely improved. There's a bit of still uh, focus hunting going on at the back end, but uh, with the good lighting conditions in most scenarios, it's I would say it's about 90%, and most people will be happy. So, change in contrast, change in focus won't be much of an issue for most people. So, as you can see, there's a bit of hunting there, like I said, but nothing too uh, drastic, nothing uh, not as bad as it used to be. Here you go, it's gone out of focus again for some reason. Do this again, boom back to it again there, there you go like I said guys it's about 90% so a very good question Mr. Pratap Singh um, a lot of people actually get frustrated with the fact that the camera is regularly focusing and it's focus hungry and hunting focus all the time well like I said it has been improved but there's definitely more um, improvement in there uh, room, for, room for improvement and hopefully it will get fixed or it may, will probably will improve in the next OTA update 
So guys, these were some of the best questions that I picked up. I don't want to prolong the video too much, otherwise you guys are going to get annoyed. So this is the story so far with the OnePlus 2. Overall, in general, the performance is fine. Uh, nothing major, but the dual SIM issue remains there. There's no USB OTG support. Battery life has definitely improved. And a few other bits and bobs have been added uh, to make the experience a bit better. Hopefully, when the next couple of OT updates and the dual SIM version issue, the, the dual SIM issue, and a couple of other issues will be solved, I'm hoping the battery life will improve even more because the phone has got a huge, massive battery inside, and this is only powering a 1080p screen. So hopefully, it will improve. But guys, keep an eye on my social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus. I regularly put screenshots there. I regularly take photos from cameras on Instagram, and I put it there as well. I recently actually had my uh, Instagram account uh, activate as well i will show you on my google plus profile so please guys and do have a look at my instagram you, you will see plenty of pictures in the future from di whatever phones i own or i get for review i'll be showing them uh, a lot there you go like as you can see just there at the bottom somewhere okay there you go so that's my instagram guys instagram.com forward slash jd android freak underscore so please uh, join me on instagram uh, if you want to get the latest updates on camera side of things for smartphones so guys um uh, I've tried my best to answer all possible best possible questions I could if I've missed any of the questions please do forgive me plus feel free to ask me and I will um, in the comment section and I will try my best to help you out and like always guys uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you like my video and like always please subscribe and as it helps the channel and I will see you in the next video